so uh, guys in the last video i explained you how to launch the instance uh, we launch linux instance in the aws cloud right but how can you connect to this instance there's a multiple way and multiple method you guys can connect or log into this instance but mostly the typical way or the industry standard in the market is we mostly use a program called putty so putty is a program through which mostly we connect to the instance right so what is the idea let me draw first what exactly we want to do so we can understand very clearly what i mean to connect okay so uh, we have launched one operating system in our case the operating system uh, is one of the linux flavor that is the red hat 8 is running somewhere if this operating system has some ip address okay and uh, in our case, this operating system is running uh, in AWS data center. In my case, it is running in the Mumbai, right? And let's say I'm sitting in my uh, system in my laptop and from my laptop, I would like to connect. Okay, the system where you want to connect to this instance, okay, those system is normally known as client system. And sometimes the system is also known as the workstation. So from the workstation, you want to connect to that operating system. Obviously, because this operating system is not there with you. So you need some kind of network or internet connectivity and that we have right now with us, the network and the internet connectivity. But to connect to this OS, you need three things. One, you need the IP address of the system. Second, you need because here we would like to connect and connect. I normally mean to say here is in the terms of connect is I would like to do login and that is called remote login to this instance. And for login, we need one more thing that is called username. Okay. And obviously if you're logging to something, uh, you always has to authenticate. And for this, you need password. Okay. But I told you in my last video, when we launch this instead of the password, instead of the password, we have a key that we have already downloaded. Now, uh, the point here is how can we log in? Okay. Because we want to log in from our system. So our system is known as a client and there's a multiple, multiple way uh, to, to connect. But one of the very commonly used standard tool in the market called putty, we use putty uh, to uh, do remote login. But for this, you need a tool. Okay. But by the meantime, to save our time, uh, our operating system is, uh, I, in my last video, we have shut it down. Uh, it is there in the stop state, if you see here. So let me select this. And there is an option here in the instance state to start the instance. And when you start the instance, this instance will boot up, power on. And after the boot up, they will, uh, AWS will assign one IP. And because we want to connect to this OS over the internet, so they here assign the public IP. So we grab this public IP to, to connect to this instance. Now in my case, guys, it take again, take some second and uh, they uh, now in the running state. Okay. Now after you select, uh, there's option here to uh, expand this panel. And if you go down in the detail of this particular uh, instance, if you go down there, you will find that they will assign some public IP to this instance. Right now they are showing this instead in the pending state, but in some second, or maybe if you again refresh, you will see they assign some public IP here. Okay. So what I'm doing, just waiting for some more second. Uh, and if I, even though if I do refresh here, Okay, even if you see here, they are in the, the initializing part. So just in some second after the initialization part complete, they give this particular IP to you. This one, that's what we're we looking for. Okay, key we have already downloaded in my uh, last class. So very quickly, if I go to my, this is my Windows operating system. And in my Windows, if I go to a particular folder, let me go to my document. So I think I have downloaded in the download folder. So let me go to my download folder. Okay. And this is the key we had down, uh, created or downloaded in my last class. This key is working like a password. Okay. 
So what do we have? We have the password with us that we already downloaded. Second thing is IP, it, it's gonna come in a minute. Okay, I'm just still waiting this instance to be initialized. Now it's been checked, passed. And now if you expand this panel, you will have this public IP. Okay, your IP will be different. This is my public IP that the AWS guys has assigned to me. Now we need to know one more small thing. Okay, what is a username? So because this instance normally, uh, and because AWS is the one who launched for us. So mostly guys, AWS given a pre-created user in their uh, uh, instances and username is mostly EC2 hyphen user. That is the username they give. And how can we check? Uh, so just select this option. If you go to connect, so here mostly they give you the name, what username they have created for us. So this is one of the way to confirm and check what username they have created. So finally, whatever the thing we need to connect from our workstation to the operating system that is running in the AWS cloud, in our case, Red Hat Linux, three things we need, IP address, username, password, everything we have collected. Now it's time to use Putty as a program from our workstation to connect. So in my case, guys, I am using uh, my workstation as a Windows. Okay, so I will download the Putty software that is not available by default in the Windows. So I will download the Putty software for the Windows. For this, okay, open the new tab, go to Google and search Putty as a program or maybe Putty download. Okay, hit enter. Mostly the first URL that you will see would be the uh, website for the putty and here you will find one link from where you can download the putty program. Just click here. Okay. And now if you want to download the putty for the windows, there's a multiple way, but I'll go for alternative binary files and this is the exe file I'm looking for. There's multiple different bit of the software available. I believe mostly everyone have 64 bit of windows. So click on this particular link, putty.exe, and it will download for you. Okay. One more software we need for some purpose. I will download in, in right now over here. What is use of the software? I will explain you in a minute. So if we go a little bit down. So there's one software called puttygen.exe. This software also I'm downloading here. Again, the same 64 bit from this link. What is use of the software? In a minute, I will explain the use of it. Now, um, so everything we have, whatever we need, and this is the one time setup guys. And after you have everything in place in the future, very quickly you can use this program to connect. Okay. But only one thing uh, to understand about Putty is if you want to log in to your operating system, in this case, this is the operating system I would like to log in. And for login, if you are using the key, Okay, then Putty say I support key to login, but only challenge is I support a key in a specific format and the format or the extension is .ppk. So if you provide me the key in this format, then only I will help you to login. But in our case, when we launch the instance in the AWS, so AWS has created the key in a format called .pem. Even though if you go to your download folder, you will see your uh, key is in the extension or in the format of PEM. Okay, so PEM format is not supported by Putty. So what we have to do, we have to convert the .PEM format into the .ppk format. Why? Because Putty support only ppk format for the key. And why we need the key? for login key is like a password and to converting the PP, PEM format into the PPK format, we need certain tool and the tool name is called Putty Generate. And that is the reason guys we have used and downloaded this tool Putty Gen. So this is the one who will help you to convert this particular format. And for this, what you to do, you have to go to this tool wherever you're downloaded uh, by default download in download folder, go to download folder in your respective OS, in my case, this is Windows. And now if I double click, so they will present this screen 
and in our case they say if you already have a private key over the option we have then load this private key and i help you to convert this private key so don't click on generate click on the load icon okay and wherever your private key you downloaded so in my case it downloaded in the download folder okay and uh, just click all the files you will see all the file that you have in the download folder and in the last video we have launched the aws instance same time they ask you generate a key and there's a key we have generated and downloaded so i select this key and click on open and as soon open they will load this key in this tool the only thing what you have to do you have to save the key again and we again save this key this time patty will save this key and internally they auto convert this key into ppk format so there is an option over here this is called save private key we click here they said you want to protect this key protect this key i don't require right now i say yes okay and here they say which what is the name you want to give so i can give any name here let me give the same name whatever we use but only this time i am changing the extension dot ppk that's all Okay, even though you don't have to give the name, they will auto assign the name not PPK for you. Just give the file name, any name, whatever you want to give, and save. That's all. So internally, what they do? Okay, whatever. Let me cross this particular program. Whatever PEM uh, file we give to this program, they convert this PEM file to dot PPK. And why I want to convert this? I already explained you because, Patty. is a program we going to use to remote login to our instance there's a linux instance on the cloud right and they only support ppk format and that's what we have converted now it's time to use putty so i'll go to my download folder where i downloaded my putty program i double click so guys right now i in my uh, windows and uh, in my windows uh i can say from my workstation if you want to log in to some system and the way i already create the diagram you need three things ip address we have so i'll go to aws cloud again okay and let me cancel this screen and from here if i select we will get the ip address let me copy okay guys don't select private ip address you have to select public ip okay you can only use public ip to connect over the internet click on the public ip and paste over here here i'm putting my ip address okay second thing you need the username that we already collected our username is ec2 user so syntax is you have to give the name here ec2 hyphen user it is username and after the username you have to put at the rate so this is syntax we have to use username at the rate and your ip address and next thing that you have to use is key key is like a password to log in and key we already converted into ppk and it is there in my download folder so what to do we have to tell the party how so for this in your left panel in your connection particular area there is option called ssh expand this ssh there is option called oath don't expand just click on the oath and they say do you want to use your private key for authentication part i say yes just click on the browse and uh, here they uh, here they ask you to select your key to which you want to log in so again go to your download folder what are the key you have in only in ppk format you have to select and open that's all so in this putty program we have given three things ip address username and the key that's all there's a three things you have to provide only once again click on the sir these are the details we have and this thing we have to do again and again in the future i have to log into this instance again and again so rather than i just type this name or ip address or this uh, key uh, again and again uh, rather than you do what can you do you can save this settings so here i'm saying this setting is called linux hash 13 uh aws some name you can give save this setting 
okay so in the future if you want to reuse this heading you can again you reuse without typing this guy again and again some small thing also i'm doing here nothing very technical i'm just set, uh, setting my some appearance here of my uh, putty uh, just changing a little bit my phone size right so when i type the command the command will be very much visible i'm changing the size to 14 i'm making it bold my phone that will become in the future okay click okay and one more small thing i'm doing this option called color i'm changing my system colors where i run my commands in linux so background color i want to become as a system color like a white color background okay that's all and again i click on sessions and save it that's all so settings will be saved and finally click on open and this open will open means here they will connect to your instance from your base system that's called windows and if i click open okay here they ask you this is the first time uh, you are going to connect do you want to connect yes or no so here i will select the option called accept yes i want to connect to this instance so uh welcome guys so here uh, from our base system right if i again see show you this diagram means from your laptop or from your desktop pc uh, from your base system or workstation you have successfully connected to one of the operating system running somewhere over the network or over the internet in our case it is running in aws cloud and this is red hat linux and we have successfully connected and you have seen this particular screen and one quick thing again this is the linux command prompt this is not my windows it is there uh, running in the aws data center just to quick check you said a basic command like date command or cal command thing is working great but because we have login with a user called ec2 user so they demonstrate here plus they also show you here in your command prompt and there's one more command called who am i they will also show you wow, which user you use here to log in so in our case, they use EC2 user to log in to this instance. So if you reach here, it means you are successfully connected with the help of Putty program. Okay, if you want to log out, there's an option called exit. They will log out from the cloud Linux system. And you can come back to your windows. But if you want to connect now again, so now it's so simple because everything is setting, we have always saved. So as soon as you again, uh, click on putty program in the future under login you don't have to do again same thing again right just this option here in the middle bar here just select this option load this option and open this option that's all but guys after do all the practice whatever practice you want to do in this instance obviously you have to first log out then i highly suggest go to aws account and this os is kind of running right just go to instance and stop the instance that's all guys. So finally, this putty is an industry standard tool. There's hundred different way to connect or there's hundreds of different tools available in the market to connect. But putty is a very commonly used or standard tool in the market. So I thought you should know how to use putty to connect to the Linux instance. But that's all guys. So all the best and just do and try this demos. Bye. Take care.